Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin encouraging you to run with endurance the race that God has set before you. It's Thursday, November the 10th. Happy birthday, Marine Corps. If you haven't gotten your fill of uh, stats and percentages this election season, I wanted to give you a few more about uh, what people think about uh, the local uh, church. Uh, Barna Research has amassed a, a treasure trove of information over the years about people's perception of the church. And here's what it tells us. A couple things stand out. And the first one is this, that people who are engaged in the local church, they overwhelmingly have a positive view of the church. Because I think they realize that we are the church, the people of God together. That is what makes up the local church in a community. The second thing they uncovered was this, and it really shouldn't come as a shock to us. People who don't consider themselves to be believers in Jesus, they overwhelmingly have a negative view of the church. And when you drill down about that, uh, what you find is two things surface. One is they don't trust pastors. And pastors, we got to do something to change that. There was a day when pastors were the most respected people in a community. Uh, and some, something's happened. Lots of somethings have happened to change that. We need to, we need to correct them. Uh, they, when you talk to young people, they don't believe the church has a clue about the real issues that people are facing in life. Uh, they, their perception is the church is answering questions that quite frankly nobody is nobody's asking, uh, or at least nobody's interested in. So what can we do about this? Uh, here's Paul's words. Uh, that I think will serve as a great template for us to make some headway in changing people's perception of the church. What if we let love be genuine? What if we abhorred what is evil and held fast what is good? What if we love one another with brotherly affection? What if we outdid one another in showing honor? What if we weren't slothful in zeal, but fervent in spirit as we serve the Lord? What if we rejoiced in hope and were patient in tribulation and constant in prayer? What if we contributed to the needs of the saints and, and sought to show hospitality? What if we blessed those who persecuted us? Um, what if we rejoiced with those who rejoice and wept with those who, who weep? What if we lived in harmony with one another? and weren't haughty and what if we associated with the lowly what if we were never wise in our own sight and we repaid no one evil for evil but we gave thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all well i bet you if we if we live like that i think we we could make some headway in changing people's perception of the church so here's my question of the day for us what do we need to do to be the opposite of what non-Christian people would expect us to be. What do we need to do? Let me pray for us today. Father, we, we look to you and we know, uh, God, we know that we were created and we have been redeemed by Jesus to represent you and to reflect your character. And and so we, we haven't always done a great job of that. And because of it, people have gotten a really negative view of, of your church. And so help us as your people here on the Crystal Coast to live in such a way that we would be the exact opposite of what unbelievers expect that we would, would be. Uh, that we would genuinely uh, demonstrate and, and show uh, your life, Jesus. And, that, and that's our prayer in, in Jesus' name. Amen. I just got back from uh, the Baptist State Convention in North Carolina meeting in Greensboro. It was uh, it was informative. It was inspirational. We had a we had a great gathering. So I hope you're having a great a great week, and I hope you're looking forward to gathering with the people of God this coming Sunday as the church gets together. Until then, let's be united in the passionate pursuit of the next generation. I'll see you Sunday.